And at the dawn, I'll... Show four was in Loveland, Colorado. And uh, we played there once before, like many, many years ago. So I was excited to go back and play. And um, We have some friends, Amber and Eddie. That was fun to see them again, because we hadn't played for them for quite a few years. Awesome hosts. Um, uh, it was a pretty fun show. Um, the, the traffic getting there was a little bit rough, but uh, other than that, it, was, it went very smoothly. And they hosted us like four years ago when they lived in Denver, and they wanted to host us for their housewarming party, um, sort of, like a housewarming party sort of vibe um, for their house in Loveland, and they invited all their neighbors, and um, they let us invite some people um, that wanted to come from our social media. So we had some people from Instagram that, that showed up, which was really fun. Yeah, so a couple people actually saw our, our schedule on our, on our website, and they, they came from like a, a couple towns over to come see us, and that was, that was pretty cool. And they had this wonderful stage already built on their back porch, and we had all the chairs lined up below the stage. It looked really great, and it, it was a really fun one, yeah. Um, so Loveland was a, a fun show. Uh, Andreas opened up again. I think the crowd seemed closer than usual, and I think that was super cool. I think it made Jake feel good because we are kind of on the stage on a back porch. I like when the audience isn't afraid of each other and everyone's just sitting really close together and closer to the stage. It's always really fun to have that sort of vibe. Yeah. And Jake just likes when it feels more intimate and people are right up in his grill. I don't know what it is about him, but he just likes it. And they kind of were. Like, I'd say the, clo the farthest person in the front row is probably about five feet away from the speakers, which I'd say is typically more like 10 to 20 feet. Eddie, who was one of the hosts in Loveland, he, uh, I remember when he hosted us four years ago, he let us mess around in his little music studio that he had, and he has a bunch of like synthesizers and different drum machines. He makes a, uh, it's kind of just like this big music creation lab. It's, it's pretty, pretty epic. So I was like, Eddie, do you still have a studio? And he said, oh, I do. And we walked all the way up the house, like on the third story, and the whole third story is like this big, uh, I think it's like a guest room, also his, his synthesizer sampling room. He focuses on electronic music, which isn't quite in most of our wheelhouses. So what we proceeded to do was get on different sounds on different keyboards and just create something super strange. We, we've played for him a few times before, and I always remember jamming on those things after the show because it's really fun. Um, we didn't make anything that sounded too amazing, uh, but we only had like 10 minutes to play with it, so. I definitely could have stayed in there a lot longer than we had time for. <laughs> and it was pretty fun. We got to mess around with some of the gear, which is always really fun to do. So that was pretty cool. Um, and other cool parts about the show, the food. The food was real good. It was a very nice spread. Um, lots of delicious cheeses and... It was like half charcuterie, half cool salads. And so I'd say the, the hosts have really been, been picking it up in the, in the food game recently, just with the quality of food, the, the enjoyment of the presentation of the food. And I think it's, it's, it's been awesome. Felt like we've been able to eat pretty healthy, which hasn't always been the case. Sometimes it's just pizza for days. And I thank you guys. Thank, thank you, host, for for giving us quality foods. Oh, so I think my favorite part about the show um, was Levi dropping his popsicle. Um, <laughs> the popsicle instant. Oh, that Levi, yeah. Yep, yeah, we got a couple funny, funny
funny videos of Levi on that one. On uh, we've been having him walk around with a little GoPro strapped around him, like during the shows. Yeah, Levi likes to put things in his mouth. Lots of dirty things, usually like rocks and, and pebbles. And apparently, his popsicle dropped on the floor. <laughs> and then uh, on the baby cam, you'll see that he drops the popsicle on the ground. And then he looks back and um, sees Lorian, his mother, coming. Lorian knew he was about to pick up the popsicle, and Lorian was like, no! And then Levi turns to get the popsicle and starts running away. So, he's a little troublemaker. It's, it's, it's adorable. Tabor used the drone, I think, during the middle of a performance, during <laughs> Andreas' opening set. And uh, it was a little loud, louder than I think Tabor expected. And like right during the middle of his song, you just hear this drone just and then everyone's like, what is that? And all the audience like turns around. It was really loud. <laughs> I wonder when you look back at the footage, if you could see everyone just like crane their necks to be like, what is attacking us? Yes. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Hey, you've been watching the Riverside's tour vlog for 2022, and we hope you enjoyed your, your time on our YouTube channel. Um, like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and we'll see you at the next episode.